it is whether that body has been vested with the powers by law by law to act in the manner that is being suggested or in a manner that has been declared by the court of appeal that it has to act so it's not a question of whether you trust a body or not so if the njc has been given the power to first and foremost deal with all sorts of cases concerning judicial in particular criminal allegations against them before the executive branch of government can move and in any case and this is very important what the judgment seems to have done to me because i've looked at it uh, administrative law is a year two course in our university and it's so basic uh, is that there is an attempt to use up the powers of the executive you know, we used to complain about usurpation of the power of the judiciary because the execution of all laws is the duty of the executive under Section 5 of the Constitution. Now, when you then say that the executive branch of government cannot execute criminal laws without waiting for the National Judicial Council, you are usurping the powers of the executive. And that's uh, not supported by... I guess the that's a conversation that 